Greetings once more and welcome to our 74th test and measurement video. Today we'll look again at the Tektronix RSA 306 PC based spectrum analyzer. Being a real time instrument, it can see how traces evolve over time. Also, it is capable of displaying signals that cannot be seen in the swept spectrum analyzer. DPX is a Tektronix trademark that refers to the digital phosphor technology, which reveals signals not otherwise available to the user. It is analogous to high persistence coatings that were once applied to the inner surface of CRT screens so that the image would persist. In the DPX, this persistence is digitally realized, permitting the user to see signal details that are missed in conventional spectrum analyzers and vector signal analyzers. First, by way of background, we'll consider the Tektronix RSA 306 PC-based spectrum analyzer. Like the oscilloscope, this instrument, rather than having a built-in flat screen display, is cabled to a user-supplied PC. This is advantageous because given the fact that in today's world, nearly everyone on the planet owns or has access to a PC, either laptop or desktop, the other essential part of the equation is the software, Signal View PC, which is available as a free download from the Tektronix website, or it comes along with the instrument in a flash drive. A bench type spectrum analyzer is fairly expensive more costly than an oscilloscope with comparable specifications. The price is much less for the PC-based spectrum analyzer. As we shall see, the amount of functionality, ease of operation, and output quality are substantial. The advantage in DPX is that it enables capture of brief transients. It is a tool for isolating, viewing, and analyzing very short duration and low amplitude signals that may lurk below segments of a high definition FM signal that is being investigated. To see how DPX works, we've cabled together a laptop, RSA 306 spectrum analyzer, and the proprietary demo board that was built to demonstrate the use of the instrument. DPX shows how traces change in two ways. First, it uses color shading to indicate the consistency of a trace. Also, persistence is used to hold signals on the screen longer so that they may be seen. In these ways, DPX displays transient signal behavior so as to enable the user to isolate glitches, interference, and instability. To begin, it is necessary to configure the signal, the demo board. Keep the same settings as in video 73, which demonstrated the RSA 306 save function. Use the row and column buttons to change the signal from OFDM to info hop, which denotes hopping signals. That's it for configuring the board. To configure the spectrum analyzer, keep the same settings as in video 73. Click on Run. In general signal viewing, select DPX from the available displays box. Click the Add button or double-click the DPX icon in the selected Displays block. Then, click the OK button. In the DP display, 
set center frequency at 2.4453 gigahertz and set span to 40 megahertz. Select the split view. You can now see the hopping signals displayed in the DPX spectrum and compare them to the standard spectrum display. Note that the standard spectrum display frequently or always misses the transient signal. Select the DPX display by clicking anywhere on it and click on the settings button. This permits you to change the color scheme. In the temperature palette, the highest color maximum is deep red and the lowest color minimum is dark blue. Values between maximum and minimum are represented by other colors on the palette. Under the bitmap scale tab, set the max scale to 3% for the DPX spectrum display. Under the amplitude scale tab, set the minimum color scale to minus 80 dBm for the DPXogram display. In the Preferences tab, enable Show Parameter Readouts. Click Stop to pause the measurement. Right-click the DPXogram screen, select Add Marker, and drag marker to one hopping signal. Then add another marker and drag it to the closest hopping signal. The Delta marker will show the time between the hopping signals, which is about 1.25 seconds. You can set the size of the DPX spectrogram by selecting the divider bar between the displays and moving it up or down to add more area to the de desired display. The minimum event duration to ensure 100% probability of intercept or event capture depends upon the interaction of span, resolution bandwidth, and FFT length. You can use this time value to see if you are at risk of either missing a narrow transient or its cam captured amplitude being less than the actual signal. The minimum 100% probability of intercept for RSA306 is 100 microseconds. These are the fundamentals contained in the DPX. For becoming really adept at transient capture, which is a prerequisite for sex, successful troubleshooting and product development in this context. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.